Hello, 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 hello. How's it going? It has been such a long time since I've uh, actually done a live stream um, on this page. <clears throat> I know it's not going to attract that many people, but I'm not exactly worried about that. So what I'm going to be talking about is uh, Sono della Dinastia, um, this newest thing that I'm actually working on on Twitter. Um, and I know that the only person that's watching this right now is me, so I'm, I'm not even going to be bothering with that. Alright, so, oh fuck, four. Alright, cool. So, um, first off, Sono de la Dinastia is a series that I've been working on for a very, very, very long time. Um, it's kind of, it's part satire, part parody of my own life, part uh, self-insert, part science fiction, part drama, part action, part romance, part comedy, part just every single possible thing, every imaginable storyline that you could possibly uh, think of, it is in there. It's not like, oh, this is something. To give you a quick summary of it, uh, Sona de la Dinastia kicks off with uh, me getting trapped in a friend's dream. And then shit just gets weird from there because at first it's like, oh, okay, so uh, this character is stuck in this situation and now they're just kind of middling about. No, it's like, oh, cool, I'm in your dream. So here's what's going to happen. And this is, these are a couple of creatures that float in and out. And, oh, this is how this works. So it started off as a way for me to... Uh, it started off as a way for me to uh, explore what was going on in my own life while having a little bit of fun and attracting the attention of a uh, gal that I liked back in college. Anyway, so then afterwards, it just kind of spiraled into its own thing because the more I worked on it, the more it kind of grew into its own thing. And I was like, oh my God, I'm actually pretty good at this. But back then, it was weird. Let me... Uh, Bring up a little bit of yield craziness if I can find it. Let's go to Facebook. Let's go to... I've got like seven or eight pages. But here's here's the entire writing process for that whole entire thing. The entire writing process is this. I drink coffee. I look at a keyboard. I just start hammering away. That's it. Actually, if we can go to... Uh, Dream of the Dynasty... WordPress, WordPress com. Okay. Or. Okay. Did you want to register? No. What? Oh, I, I. Anyways. So I started working on it in 2004, 2005. Yeah, actually, no, 2004, I remember. And it took me about a good. Up until 2016 to finally reach the last actual. Uh, spot the last you know uh, post for chapter 10 all right all my sites all my sites uh, dee, 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 dee. um the weird part is the actual last uh post that i put into it was like it was it was actually a couple of years ago shortly before um I went into the Navy, I came back, I tried getting back into it, and for a while it was working, and then for one reason or another, it just fell apart on me. So I decided to end it at a uh, point where, you know, it was good, because at that point, I had been escalating the situation I had been putting the characters through um, to such a point where I was like, mm, how am I going to top this? Because once you get into the existential level of things, once you get into like the metaphysical where it just starts to blur a little bit. Because there's one scene I remember writing where it was like a freeze frame of me hunched over a keyboard. And I was just like da 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 And it was just like great. So that was fun. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find... Tools, plugins, ports, design, jetpack, uh, site, posts, pages, there we are. And I actually did like, so Toro Kankoro is the last one, which was, I think, chapter 9? 
I'm trying to remember chapter 9 because I never actually got deep into chapter 10 because how I did it was uh, I'd write everything in parts and then I'd be like all right cool so if I could switch it around like I, and the weird thing is I never tagged any of the posts so it was very low key very uh, just uh, silent and everything, uh, very much just chilling and doing its own thing and whatnot, and it was just like, mm, cool. But the very concept behind it is a psychological exploration of things that are going on in my own life as interpreted if they were uh, dreams and whatnot, and these very much were, in some cases, actual dreams that I was having. Mm. Oh, my cat's going off in the background, just doing my thing. And so, uh, what I eventually started doing was I eventually started using uh, people that I knew in 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 my every in my day to day as characters within the story itself. You know, give them little backstories. I would uh, use like surface level details that I knew about them. Did they have any uh, brothers or sisters? Like what were their personality types? Uh, what they looked like? You know, just basic stuff like that. And from there on, the characters themselves would take on uh, this kind of uh, life of their own. <clears throat> and that's what I love about writing. That's what I love about creating stories. It's when the character, you are no longer in charge of the what the characters do or what they say. It's basically all um, instinctual. Like, okay, if I put them in this situation, how are they going to react? It's very much a metaphysical, artificial intelligence um, kind of way of thinking like once you're there you are there it's not like oh well blah, 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 blah. so it's it, it, it's all fun uh, it's all f it's fun for me but at the same time it's really really hard work and um uh, i just kind of have to uh, keep doing my own thing i know for a fact that i should be keeping an eye on the uh chat just to see what's going on oh new pages oh cool okay five 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 and how, how and, okay so 14 people reached of course of course follow me on twitter what 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 are the stats on this page what are the stats on this page because i can never know i think it, this has like fifteen thousand something odd um followers on it but i'm not really active on it so it's not like yeah this man is topical no i'm not what i essentially did was i put it in a promotion and it was like wow all right cool we're up to this page um over the last what i want to say 24 days 500 people 515 people reached because again i haven't been active whereas on twitter where I am more active, and don't worry, everything's everything's connected. Everything's I'm not gonna be like meh. Whereas on Twitter, I am really, really active. So there have been, <coughs> oof, pardon, um, just for November of this year alone, uh, tweet impressions are fifty-seven thousand two hundred. Um, so it's like, damn, dude, damn. And I'm the kind of guy that doesn't really uh, follow a bunch of people. Like, I'll follow someone if they follow me back, and I'll be like, all right, cool. Um, so it's like, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm just like, chilling. Um, but getting back to the whole writing thing, uh, so the very premise is very much free flow in how I go about things. It's it's 
Seriously, it is very much free flow. Am I able to... Uh, <gasps> yes, I am. I am able to knock this out right over here. So that way you're able to see me. I'm able to see me. And I'm able to adjust this. Because I really need to adjust this. Um, so this... what How I title the chapters themselves is... I usually go for Italian because that's how I start things off, and I'm very much, you know, a a creature of habit. Uh, so let's see this current one that I, I'm not really taking too seriously because I'm like, well, this is a thing. This is a thing I'm doing. I'm slowly but surely uh, jumping back into this thing. Uh, it's Sono della Dinastia Bianca e Nero, which translates to uh, Dream of the Dynasty Black and White. Now there is a very, very specific reason why I chose that particular title. Um, it, I'm very much into the idea of like dualities um, or like just very much uh, tr trying new uh, things or context and I find that um, if I haven't worked on something for a while I kind of need to remind myself of the rules of the story itself so one of the main rules is that there's something called uh, dream dimension energy or or well yeah there's old dream dimension energy and new dream dimension energy within the context of the story. Um, it allows the characters to create whatever they need to create to deal with a variety of situations, whether it's, um, whether it's attacking, defending, building, just general conversation. Um, so there's that aspect of it. Um, next up is like the whole idea of uh, Deoms, which I was originally trying to s spell demon, but forgot the M, so that just that just stuck. So I was like, Deom, oh, pff, all right, cool, fuck it, we're we're just doing that. Uh, so Deoms are the physical manifestation of intense emotional reactions. They are bound to the creator. Of, of them. So, uh, there's this one uh, deal called Eraser Butt. I don't know. I was just like, oh, cool. This, this seems like a uh, fun thing, right? Yeah. So let's uh, let's uh, do that. All right. Fourteen people reach. I want to share. I want to copy the link. And I want to go here. And damn, dude, I want I want to go to the fucking tweet thing. Why? Why? Why would you do that to me? Why? All right. So, uh, Facebook, Facebook, live stream, <laughs> live. All right. Cool. Uh, nano right. Nano ramo, because that's what I'm talking about. And uh Rabbit twenty uh writing I have to just like dodge this thing because it's like right in the middle. Oh my god, I, I did not realize this. I go double click you like that and instantly the world is fine, the world is fine and dandy. Alright, so we go boom. There we are, and we are golden. All right, so writing. Oh no, story telling. I got a author. Am I? Um. So, yeah, that's great. All right. Um, so getting back to it, in in uh, Bianco e Nero, um, if I can find the, I had, 
whoa, whoa. All right, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay, yeah. In uh, Bianca uh, Enero, it's... Uh, since I'm writing this in, like, Twitter, I have to conform to the rules of uh, Twitter posts. So, um, every movement... So, everyone within the Twitterverse has this uh, stamina bar. And it's locked in at 280. So, every movement, every word, every action consumes a little bit of that stamina bar. And when that bar goes down um it then you have to wait for it to recharge kind of like uh, how you hit post and then you have to wait for the post to post before you can write another post so it's very much in that way that it just kind of recharges so that's an i that's a new mechanic that i'm playing around with um another thing is that the characters acknowledge the fact that they're uh in uh, that they're in uh, Twitter, that they're doing, um, that they're fictional characters. And I haven't yet gotten to that point where they're like, hey, we're we're in a Twitter post. What? What's going on? And everything. So I, I might dive deeper into that um, when the story calls for that kind of self aware situation to kind of um, pop up and everything because that's something I've played around with uh, in in the past with I'm not sure it, either it was uh, Custody de la uh, Rialta or something like that where one of my own characters from a book that I was working on with a friend uh, Blake uh, confronted the crap out of uh, uh, couple of main characters and he's like dude th you put me through so much hell why why and th it became this exploration of the metaphysical theory that are these are the characters that we create in our books actual living sentient uh, beings somewhere out there in the universe and we're just receiving the signals um, and creating them within our own kind of ways and everything. So it was, it's always been this weird dynamic that I haven't really focused too much on. But at the same time, it's cool. And so this is why I like using uh, friends and people that I know as characters within the stories because then it, there's just that little panache of realism that okay so I can go this far with this character but I can't push them towards this part um, because I know for a fact that the person they're based on is going to have some <laughs> questions for me like why did you do this surprisingly no one actually brings it up they're like it's a thing it's not gonna go anywhere you're right it might not go anywhere but at the same time it's a form of therapy for me um so this particular chapter or mini chapter i have no idea how far i'm going to take it it actually spawned from a uh dream i had where i was like oh cool i'm in a plastic neighborhood and oh cool those two are there and oh cool now the now the house is following us and oh cool now it just turn into a dog for no reason wow this is cool so that's what i'm uh that's the framework of the story that i'm going with it, it's gonna follow those beats just that like, did it did it did it did it did it and then when it gets to that point i'm gonna be like all right cool i knocked this out i did something that i i'm proud of i can honestly say that it was a huge success um so so it's like one of those mini projects that i'm working on that i'm not taking too seriously but at the same time in the back of my mind I'm like I'll cut this bookmark this so that way you can keep track of it and that's something that I really have a problem with sometimes is keeping track keeping track of uh, projects and things that I've worked on in the past 
Um, ah, that's, that that is fun. Oh, that is fun. So yeah, that is essentially where I'm at. Newsfeed. Woot, woot, woot. Cool. Uh, no, I, th I don't really care about the news feed right now. So, and this is kind of like the, uh, messenger. Hey there, welcome to all of just lives of life. If you have any projects that are relatively short term, please, I'm here to assess you. That is good. When did he send that? I'm like, Abraham leaving or something like that. Um, so it's like, it's, it's all good. It's all good. So this has been a project that I've, I myself have been working on for a very long time. Let's see, let's check, let's see what's going on in Discord. Ab absolutely nothing. And Discord is a, uh, trippy, trippy app to use. I've, I've had it for a, a while and I like being topical when I'm writing like I like the idea of throwing in a little bit of what's going on in the world throwing in what's going on in a little, little bit of uh, my life and seeing what happens because my the way I write is very half hazard and just bouncing all over the place like idea 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 so it's like all kinds of fun um uh, hmm. i think that's really about it um at the moment there are only two characters but i'm also working on music writing another thing which doesn't use any names or uh descriptors or or like details it's mainly just the he she they they kind of deal and it's really hard for me because i myself am a detail oriented person so the very fact that uh, another project of mine has zero dialogue in it and it's mainly just narration of an interaction between a uh, man and a woman who are constantly like flirting with each other and they know that they're um, that there's this attraction between them but at the same time it's very hard for them to kind of acknowledge it to each other so it's like this well uh, hey hey how's it going that kind of thing and it was just like damn so hopefully i can archive every one of those because in 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 all honesty that oh that was that is always fun to work on and what i've been basing that on is like the <clears throat> rare The rare interactions that myself and this uh, gal that I've been flirting with um, off and on have. So I'll be like, he looked into her eyes, his heart beat wildly, but she could not know. She could not know. So it's very much that. And I do tend to put a lot of uh, myself into my projects, whether it's writing lyrics or recording tracks or writing stories or blogging or anything like that. Uh, the creative process is, is a bit uh, draining. So I'm constantly like in this weird lot weird kind of deal. So it's very much just kind of uh, kind of a process for me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be adding anyone else to it. I might, 
it all depends on where the story goes because you can only have <clears throat> so much uh, of a storyline with only three characters. Hold on. Uh, so, and I usually like to have a a few uh, different storylines going on at any one point. So if I get uh, stuck on one thing, I'll be like, all right, cool. I'll switch it over to another. And then I'll switch it over to another until I have like four or five story, uh, plot arcs. And that's what I fucking loved about uh, Story Mesh with like the uh, choice fiction and whatnot. Or decision fiction as it's uh, referred to. Choose your own adventure types. Because you can be like, okay, cool. Uh, there's this thread, this thread, this thread, this thread, and then like it just filters down. So I very, 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 very much love that kind of thing. And if you're wondering, oh my God, why is he so brr? Uh, it's it's not that brr. It's just that I'm really, 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 really busy. Um. So, yeah, that is, that is trippy. Um, yeah, it's. Oh my god. There's a dog. There is such a thing as unicorns. Oh man. So, I might start playing around with um, a bunch of different themes because I've been getting into uh, astrology, astrology, and playing with the signs and whatnot and everything. And uh, there was this period where I was using the Greek alphabet, like Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Di, Gamma, Om uh, Omicron, uh, Mu, Nu, Pi, uh, Tau, uh, Psi. Uh, that whole thing, you know, Alpha, Omega, that that kind of thing, and they were uh, fragments of a whole, but each fragment was its own character. Each had its own distinct style of speaking and uh, a unique look to it, and that's what I really enjoy, just the whole entire creative process. So, yeah, anyways. I've got uh, a bunch of things to do today, or maybe not at all, maybe just one thing and everything. I don't know how the day usually goes. So, yeah. Talk to you later.